So now we're just going to add a little bit of these, make this a little bit lighter now and put this down here where the light's shining on this part of the of the mouth area. This defines the edge of the nose. And we'll also want to put in there's a little highlight. This edge here. And there's another one here around the bottom of the mouth, and a slight one around the edge of the ear. Beginning to take shape. Some more highlights here and there where it's needed. Right now, there is a little highlight around the eye. So it's quite bright underneath the eye there. And there's a little bit of the eyelid. It's just catching the light. Just there. All right, and then this part of the eye, there's generally a little lighter bit there, which radiates out. And all you do is you just keep working into it. The more you work at something, eventually the better it'll, it will be. You just you don't think you're going to get it in one go within a couple of minutes. Probably isn't going to happen. Sometimes it does. Most times it doesn't. So you just build it up a little bit at a time. Sometimes I use the edge of the brush. That's the heel of the brush, so to speak, and bring, because there's paint collects in the heel of the brush, so we just sometimes scuff it along the board there to bring the paint back to the, to the front of the brush. Now we're going to go to a smaller brush. This is a little round, probably a watercolour brush. I don't care what bristle it is so long as it makes the right mark so we need to get the eye color in now the eye color on these is quite orange so you mix up an orange using the red and the yellow using some liquid to make it dry a little bit quicker and we can paint in this rather a bright orange there like that now, now we we'll then add some of the burnt umber to it because it's darker at certain air, certain parts of the eye, and we'll just soften the edge of the black bit, the pupil, the iris. I don't know which one is which. Right now, just to delineate that. Well, first of all, we put in a little bit of not not white but just off-white for the colour of the white of the eye. Oh. With the colour of the um, orange part of the eye, you just need to mix a little bit of a, a lighter colour 
just for the highlights of that orange area because this will get uh, light as it as well you see so that just brightens that up now for the highlight of the eye I'm going to use some of that uh, raw sienna blue and white and we're going to just pop in a, a highlight there and a highlight there. Now I always like to leave a gap between the two highlights. Right now we just need to extend that down a little bit. Like so. Now with a smaller brush, now I like to use a fine line rigger for lots of things, particularly for highlights. So I'll just get some of the pure white just on the end and we'll have a little dot in there and a little dot in there and we'll just bring this up a little bit now you can see that is suddenly come alive the eye has come alive and while we've got some of this light color on there we'll just start putting in a few A few little tones, a few little light areas where the, the light's just been picking it up. See that is now standing out from the background now. Yep. It's beginning to show some life to it in three dimensions. Right, well we've got a little bit of the white. Now, just off-white again. We need to go to the off-white put in a few and this is the highlight of the nostril which comes down there like so and it'll be the same with this one here and with the other brush just needs to extend this them out a bit. This has got a bit of a shadow there, a little ridge over this little part of the nostril. Now we go back to that black and we can just redefine the nostril shape. There we go. And also we've got a little bit in here to redefine. Again, well, we've got the light colour. One of the brushes I tend to use is a, a lovely worn out flat brush with, and I splay the edges of it. Which is lovely, that is, because if I now go into the burnt umber, I can then drag this. Define those areas. It tends to blend things a little bit, but also because it's got this shape, it, you can get the almost like the hairs, individual hairs showing through without having to paint individual hairs. It should do it automatically. Now with my rigger brush, I can start to add in some, again, not particularly pure white, but off white. We can start putting in some little flecks of, of white bristles, whiskers and, and such. Just to give them a little bit of
a note of pure white here. And here. Start adding a few. Right, we'll give that a little signature on the bottom. Always sign your paintings and date them. And that's my signature done. And there we go, I think that's about it. That is an Alla Prima painting of a German short haired pointer in oil paints. If you like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.